Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals. This is standard 4.4a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 14 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so on number 14, we've got two kind of larger numbers here. And it says in November, we've got 92,721 people went to football games in a stadium. That number was, and then we've got 14,629 greater than the number of people who went to the football games in the same stadium in October. How many people went to that football games in that stadium? in October. Well, let's take a look at our options here. All right, so we've got how many people went in November? 92,721. That's November. That number, now when we're talking about that number, it goes back to this. So we can replace that with 92,721 was, and then this much greater then the number of people who went in October, how many people went in October? So that's what I want to know. So this is, and then we can say 14,629 people greater than what I want for October. Well, since we're using this word greater here that means we're going to compare which means the operation that we use to compare is going to be subtraction All right so subtraction is uh, useful but sometimes we kind of get lost in this idea that subtraction means something always goes away right like there's seven cars and then two cars drive off how many cars are left that's subtraction but you could say there are seven red cars, um, and, you know, and that is two more than the number of blue cars. How many blue cars? Well, no cars are going away. You can also use subtraction to compare, and that's what we're doing here. We're comparing this 92,721 is 14,629 greater than the number we want, the October number. So... Let's just line it up here and subtract. Now, let's make sure this is kind of a large number. We do have these. I'm going to go ahead and circle them so we don't really get confused. The commas can sometimes, if we write them kind of sloppily, look like a 1. And we, we add them into our subtraction algorithm. We don't want to do that. We start with the 1's place. 1 take away 9. Can't do that, so we're going to have to regroup here. So that's two tens. I'm going to take 110. So that leaves me with 110. I'm going to take this 110 and add it to my 1s. Now I've got 11. So I took up that 10 and broke it up, added it to the 1. I've got 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. I used to be able to do that, but now I've got 1 minus 2. So I need to go to this 700s, take 1. That leaves me 600s. So I'm going to break up that 100 into 10 10s, add it to the 10 I've already got there. So that now I have 11 10s minus 2 10s gets me 9 10s. I can at least do this, 600s minus 600s equals 0 hundreds. And then I've got, I can't do 2 take away 4, so I'm going to take my 10,000s. Take 1, leave 8, break up the 10,000 into 10,000s. Now I have 12,000s, because I already had 2,000s there. Take away 4,000, that's 8. And then that's going to be 8 10,000s minus 1 10,000 is 7 10,000s. So 78,000. 92, which is one of my answers, and we can always just double check, right? Let's just make sure if we add it back up, we're going to get back to what we wanted to. That's going to be 14,629. Adding it sometimes seems a little bit easier. And that's going to be 2. And look, we got back to where we started, right? So that's good. So our answer here is going to be 78,092A.